A uh, child's eyes are developing uh, during pregnancy. When a child is born prematurely, the structures inside the eye, and especially the blood vessels in the eye, are not fully developed. Usually that development occurs just fine after the child is born, but in some cases there can be serious abnormalities that develop in the blood vessels. The children that are at risk for developing ROP, which stands for retinopathy of prematurity, are children that are born uh, earlier than 32 weeks or children that have a birth weight of less than 1,250 grams. So retinal vasculature, which is the blood vessels that are growing in the retina, isn't fully mature until about 42 weeks gestation. So what that means is that a baby who is born at a typical 40 weeks gestation, their blood vessels are still not fully grown in and that occurs over the first couple of weeks of life. When a child is born, born very premature, that is even more significant, meaning their blood vessels are definitely immature and haven't grown in yet. And so as that's happening outside of the womb, that can change and grow in an abnormal pattern. And so what we are monitoring every one to two weeks is that the blood vessels are growing in appropriately, meaning they're growing through the retina, they're staying flat in the retina, and they're progressing as they should because sometimes what can happen is as the oxygenation has changed because the baby is no longer inside the womb, those blood vessels can start to grow abnormally and grow outside of the retina, which can cause bleeding and other consequences to the eyes. The more premature someone is, or the, more, or the lower their birth weight is, the higher risk they are. So typically a child born at 25 or 26 weeks will have a much higher risk than somebody born at 30 or 31 weeks but every child born under 32 weeks requires screening examinations and we typically perform these examinations every one to two weeks until the blood vessel development is either completed or we determine that uh, treatment is required. So as a, a routine protocol, all children that meet those, these criteria require eye exams even while they're in the hospital but the first eye exam starting uh, at approximately four or five weeks after they're born. The process is variable per child, and that can depend on a number of factors. One, it can develop, depend on how early they were born. The earlier they are born, the longer it takes for the retinal vasculature to grow in properly. It also depends on their oxygenation, meaning did they develop or did they require oxygen while they were in the NICU, did they require intubation, those factors change their development of the blood vessels. Also their birth weight and their weight gain changes their risk and their development of retinopathy prematurity. Uh, in most children the blood vessel development is fully completed around their original due date, but in some children it can take significantly longer and can take approximately two or even three months after their original due date. So every child is different and they all have to be followed until their vascularization or their blood vessels are fully mature. Once the blood vessel development is completed, it's still important for the child to be seen approximately six months after their original due date. The reason for that visit is is one to determine that they are seen well. When they are infants and we are just checking the retinal vasculature, we are not checking their vision as they don't see very well in very young infancy. So one, we want to make sure that their vision is developing in each of their eyes and developing equally between the two eyes. We are also assessing their ocular alignment, meaning whether their eyes are straight or not. Premature babies are at a higher risk of requiring glasses earlier in life than a non-premature baby. They are also at a slightly higher risk of developing strabismus, which is a misalignment of the eye. Children with uh, significant prematurity are at a greater risk of developing uh, amblyopia or lazy eye, developing eye muscle imbalances like eye crossing or eye drifting, 
and also a greater risk of uh, needing eyeglasses. The earlier we catch these eye problems, the more effectively they can be treated.